Headphones are getting more and more expensive and with so many great options out there, but also some pretty bad ones. How do you even know where to start when it comes to buying your next pair? Well, thankfully, I've put together my top tips to help you guys out. First up, you're gonna wanna know what type of headphones you're looking for. Are you after wired or wireless? Wired headphones is a more traditional approach designed to be connected to your device via a cable. However, over the past few years, wireless headphones have become increasingly popular for their more practical design, which allows you to be free from tangled cables. Now, in today's world, most phones have ditched the jack input, making wireless listening more convenient and also much more compatible. And with the latest tech advancements, wireless options like these Sony XM5s offer top tier sound quality without the wires. Now there are three main types of headphones to choose from, over-ear, on-ear and in-ear. Now the over-ear headphones are the most universal but they're also the most expensive and do tend to be the heaviest but if they're designed properly then that doesn't really matter. Now I'm thinking of options like the Bose QC Ultras or the Bowers & Wilkins PX7 S2Es. Now things to really think about when purchasing over-ear headphones are the weight, how much padding they offer both on the ear cups and on the headband and also the head clamping which is essentially how tight they sit on your head. Finally, also consider the size of the ear cups and how much of a seal that they'll provide for immersion and how much space your ears will have to breathe especially if you're after a pair that you could wear for a few hours without feeling too much ear fatigue. Now the on-ears are another option to consider. Now they are slightly lighter than the over-ears and of course by design they don't block out as much external noise and don't encompass your ears as much as the over-ears but they are a really nice middle ground between over-ears and in-ears. Now not everyone can get on with in-ears and sometimes they don't fit right, they might be a little bit uncomfortable and easy to dislodge but they are the smallest and by far the easiest to take on the go and that's why I often swear by my AirPod Pros above all else when editing out and about. Now there are some other alternatives out there like ear hooks or bone conducting headphones which can be a little bit more specialist and all of these have their pros and cons but you'll need to consider those for your specific use case. Now sound quality is of course at the top of most people's priority lists when it comes to buying a new pair of headphones but sound quality is subjective. Now if you're coming from an audiophile background then you're probably going to be after something a little bit more than those who are buying their first pair of headphones. Now as a general rule of thumb spending more money usually improves the audio quality but you have to question just how much you value the differences. To give you guys a good starting point my top picks for sound quality are the Bowers & Wilkins PX8s but these are a little bit pricey and you can definitely still get great sound for less. Now the Bose quite comfort ultras and sony xm5s are 200 pound cheaper than the px8s but still offer brilliant sound in my opinion it's important here to do your research and think about your listening preferences do you want headphones with great vocal clarity or that deep impactful bass again check out some of our headphone reviews linked below that i think you guys will find really helpful if you're more serious about your audio then you might want to opt for a pair of headphones which offer eq adjustments this could be in the form of different sound profiles for different settings or even a full parametric eq and this will give you even more control over the sound that you get. For those after the best sound quality possible from wireless headphones, Bluetooth codecs play a big part. Now, if you're an iPhone user, you'll want to look for a pair of wireless headphones that support AAC, which is the only high quality Bluetooth codec supported by iOS. Android users, on the other hand, do have a little bit more choice and depending on your device, you might be better with headphones that support Aptex or Audi AC. If you're looking for a pair of headphones that you can wear to minimize distractions or loud noises when you're traveling or in a busy office, then ANC or active noise cancellation is something to consider. Certain over-ear headphones will provide a seal around your ear and offer a little bit of sound cancellation, but ANC really levels the immersion up by actively canceling out any noises around you. Now this can be done to varying degrees of success and many brands give you different settings to control the level of cancellation that you can get. Having ANC on will drain your battery quicker, but it can have a huge impact on your listening experience. Many models also then offer a transparency mode which allows you to hear your surroundings more clearly. And this is a really good setting if you're out running, especially close to a road. Now a couple of my recommendations would be the Sony XM5s, which are of course at the more premium end of the scale, the Bose QC Ultra earbuds, and a budget friendly option that I have loved testing being the Sony WHCH720N. Now battery life is an important consideration to some extent because most headphones now do come with a battery life that will last long enough for daily use. Now depending on your lifestyle you might want headphones with a very long battery life because you might be traveling a lot or away from power so you're unable to recharge them. Typically your over ear or on ears will need to be charged via a power source but most earbuds now come with a case that will recharge them whilst inside. 
Now, one benefit to headphones that also come with a cable to connect to your device is that they'll allow you to keep listening even once the battery has died, which is a great backup option that ensures that you're not left with no tunes between charges. Now, a lot of people opt for a pair of headphones that can do it all, be your daily drivers, but also a pair that you could take out for a walk or a run or just generally be active in. Now, a lot of headphones and earbuds do offer some sort of protection from the elements with their different IP ratings, but just how much protection they offer can vary a lot. Now, if you're going to be sat inside at a desk or just commuting with your headphones, then you might not be too worried about an IP rating. But if you want a pair that you can really be active with, whether that be a gym session or out on a run, then you will want some sort of resistance to the elements. If you want the confidence that your headphones are going to survive the elements, then you'll want to be looking for a pair with an IP67 rating that protects against not only dust ingress, but also a completely waterproof. Bone conduction headphones are a great shout if you live a more active lifestyle, as these leave the ear canals completely free for more awareness, and that's why they're favored among triathletes and so on. Now this might sound counterintuitive, but picking the right pair of headphones does come down to a lot more than just music. Some of these models are absolutely packed full of features that can either make or break them. Now what you would find useful is of course down to personal preference, but I'll share a few of my key features to give you an idea. First up is ear detection. This is where the headphones can sense when you've either lifted an ear cup or taken the headphones off and automatically pause the music. Now this is really helpful in the office when you want to quickly ask someone something. If you'll be using your headphones for calls or jump on a zoom then make sure that you check that the headphones have built-in mics and that the call quality is decent. Next, are they collapsible? More and more of the premium headphones seem to be moving to a fixed or swivel design but I personally love collapsible options like the Bose QuietComfort Ultras as they're super handy for throwing in a bag. Speaking of, you might also want to check out the cases. Now this might not seem like a huge factor in your decision making but it's things like this that can actually have a really big impact on your day-to-day -day usability. For example, I love the premium case with the PX8. It feels durable to protect my headphones and it looks the part too. The Bose QuietComfort Ultras case is nice and compact and perfect for chucking in a bag, while the Sennheiser Momentum 4's case, although quite premium, is a little bit chunkier and it wouldn't be my choice for taking away with me. Now these are all things to consider and they might not be deal breakers for you personally, but could help narrow down your decision. Ultimately, the right headphone choice for you is gonna come down to your use case, your personal preferences, and of course your budget. But the beauty of the headphone dilemma is that there's so many different options across a varying degree of price points. So hopefully this video has helped you out guys and I'll catch you all in the next one.